Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Ost Talk. Uh, today is Friday, October 31st. Happy Halloween, everybody. Oh, yeah. All right, and uh, my name's Z-Trot. I'm going to be hosting today, and we also have Charles445. How you doing? Hello. It's We've pretty spooky been... around here. Oh, it's it's definitely spooky. you got to watch out for all them bats. And those super scary watch skeletons. Out the, watch out for the bats and, what? oh, God, the cats. <laughs> And we also have Deadbeat with us. How you doing, Deadbeat? Uh, I'm pretty good over here in November. <laughs> Always really long gone for me. Oh, look at this guy. I hope you Catch enjoy up, your Eagles. future. Jump. I'm still 4:27 p.m. on Halloween here. And uh, we've also got uh, joining with us a uh, special guest. We've got uh, Kiyanko here. She's going to help with the discussion. How you doing, Kiyanko? Preparing for the skeleton war. Oh boy. And, and we finally... also. <laughs> Sorry, Charles. I'm screwing with you, dude. <laughs> okay, we also have Katoka Fox here with us as well. That's Hi. me. That Hi. is definitely you. How you doing? Ooh. I'm All right. Fine. So this uh, chilly October, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the upcoming events that are going on in the game and some things changing around with the Academy and the YouTube channel in general. Um, most of the stuff we'll talk about, uh, you'll be able to ask questions on at the end of the interview, just like always, and hopefully this will update anybody that's watching it on YouTube as to what's going on. So, um, the first thing we can go over, what do you guys want to go over first? Well, I think you can probably get your academy stuff out of the way first. And sure. everybody else kind of feel like that? Uh, that's fine with me too, it's just going to be a lot of me talking, because I know... A lot of people, I mean, I do have a couple people that are closely involved with helping with the I, Academy. Hello. I actually do read, watch the Academy time to time as well, because it's still just a heck of a lot of fun to listen to. I have a better track record Kitoka here than Fox. Charles does. Kitoka Fox <laughs> needs to learn the ropes of the editor. <laughs> oh, man. CTB needs an editor. Oh, okay. geez. All right. Shameless advertising. So, um, that wouldn't be too hard, but that's for another discussion. Um... Anyways, um, so basically what's going on with the Oast Academy is, if anybody's noticed, um, uh, there's been a lot of rec retroactive changes to all the videos, the thumbnails have been updated, um, and with the newest episode, which uh, went over... Oh, see, this is bad. I don't even know what the newest episode Advanced went over. Advanced mapping techniques? Advanced mapping yeah. techniques, yeah, thank you. I've, I've just been so cluttered with everything I gotta do. Um, with the advanced editor techniques... <coughs> Excuse me you can see that there has been a definite change to the design of the OS Academy, which was kind of a, there was a little bit on the OS Next blog, if anybody watches that, um, they kind of gave a little bit of an update towards that getting a visual update, but that's definitely there. And now what's going to happen is, uh, unfortunately this does mean that in terms of new content, there's going to be a little bit of a lull because I'm going to be going in and retroactively changing all of the old episodes and updating the format to match with the current build of the game. As we move forward, this is going to be the next main staple that stays for a while. Just like with any type of uh, game, when it goes through its major updates, you know you have to change your tutorials to match the updates that go with the game. So that'll be the main changes that happen. Um, definitely something I do want to hear from que the questions when we get into the questions later on in the episode is if there's anything that needs changing or you could feel could be improved and what kind of content you'd like to see added but I'd also like to ask my uh, guest speakers here those questions as well so guys go ahead and hit me with those and I, I want to know I want some feedback on how the Academy's doing anyway so feel free hmm I'm a bit indifferent about the um, new design change. It's like the animation effects are pretty cool. I'm just, I'm not a big fan of the color scheme. Mm. The uh, multicolored, like especially the um, the circle around the Osco. It just something Whoa. about it just doesn't fit for me. Well, see, I un I understand what you're talking about. Also, Deadbeat, your mic decided to uh, play a trick or treat <laughs> Halloween day on you. Um, but no. I get what you're saying. Um, I think My bad. it's kind of grayscaled a bit. Um, now, mind you, Flight did help quite a bit with uh, the animation and stuff. And I still think it looks more professional than it's ever looked before. 
most definitely. But I will say the original design, like the title cards and stuff, while they are transparent, they still had a lot of color to them. They were blue, pink, pop, vibrant. Um, but that's always something that can be worked on more. I personally love the credits screen now. That is something that's oh, yeah. been heavily improved upon. I can agree yeah, on I do that. Like that. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, it's just a few of the color schemes that kind of bug me. I, will, yeah. I guess everything else is pretty good though. I do, and, I do definitely like enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And I got to give a major thank you to all the people that took part in the art contests and oh. you know. Placed. Oh man, the art contests. I love those. Well, because they took part in the art contests, those great artists, not some of them might not have been able to win the their art getting put into a sticker or, you know, getting the top, but other people were contacted that did do art for the art, art contest and those ones that we felt would be good used for promotion for the game. You know, we asked if it was okay if we used them, and they're pretty cool about it. And that's why the Academy looks as cool as it does, is because of those great artists. Sick. I wanted to talk about, uh, as far as, like, progression in the Academy, uh, basically the stuff that would happen, like, after the most recent episode, because, you know, there's, it's always nice to see more new videos and stuff. You basically covered mapping basics to the point where you've gotten to, like, the advanced features and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think at that point, the next logical step would be the more advanced usage of things like mapping styles mapping patterns basically like different concepts instead of just the raw details of what's there maybe more in-depth uh i guess the word would be abstractions on the existing mechanics oh and yeah see that's something i want to get into i'm trying to learn how to time time lapse stuff a little bit better um because one of the things i'd like to do is basically i'd like to get like get guest mappers on an episode for their insight like say for example if you've got someone that's really heavy into symmetrical patterns you know and stuff like that you know maybe get there and explain why they use those symmetrical patterns i mean i could speak for days on just my viewpoint but that doesn't really you know open it up to a new budding mapper that's you know like a sponge they're ready to take in all kinds of information and just throwing one type of viewpoint at it wouldn't really do it justice there's a bit of a fine line between going on and explaining every single corner of something and then trying to explain it in a nutshell because if you explain every single corner of something you're just covering for the people who are willing to listen through it and if you're explaining it in a nutshell people who are new to the game aren't going to understand it's a sort of trying to get that smack in the middle Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just about so, to say, you really need to find, like, the uh, happy medium with it to where it's not being too vague, but you're not being too, like, detailed and nitpicky about it. Yeah. But definitely getting other people's views, you know, uh, bringing other people to the table is definitely a good way to get, like, a well-rounded viewpoint. I don't want to go into every detail, but, like, there's obviously... For example, me and Charles use sliders very differently. Just like oh yeah, um, Z you know, gets some, mad at my sliders. Yeah, some people use patterns <laughs> very differently, and explaining how those are good in both uses at the same time is something I want to do because something uh, you kind of run across is once a mapper's kind of got set in their ways, they'll there's two paths they could do. They could either you know improve upon it or branch off into other stuff and actually i want them to branch off into other stuff more instead of just constantly approving upon one particular style of mapping actually now that i think about it you know the uh, mapping technique subform that used to be a thing mm -hmm. where people would be like rate the mapping technique i think um it'd be interesting to have videos that just cover certain techniques of that nature like maybe some of the old ones maybe some of the new ones and basically talk about their pros and cons and take away the rating thing. Yeah. yeah well, well, yeah, it would just be like a demonstration video. I don't think it would be saying, do this or don't do this for any of them. Yeah, I don't think the subjective. rating is as, is as effective with it because everybody likes, well, there's a lot of people that, that like the same things, but so many people have different styles that maybe they really like, but other people don't like as much. So the rating really isn't as effective in finding out which is, well, quote, better. Because yeah. I really don't think there's any specific style that's better 
than one another in any way because there's so many the, really good styles. It, it, it just comes a lot of it just comes down to preference. So in order to keep it uh, basically uniform and uh, appealing to both sides, you would do the pros and cons, and I think that would be pretty a safe bet maybe for content. Mm -hmm. And you don't just say, oh, I should <laughs> use this style because it it's like good or something and it got high ratings. Do your own style, do it how you do, and it'll make you a lot different and a lot more, more of a standout than the rest of them. Yeah, just always make sure, because uh, like, like it says in the editor, like, um, as long as your map's timed properly, there's a good chance somebody will look at it. It's just, so when it comes down to creation, it should be your preference, but you shouldn't like just ignore everything that's being said to you either. But that's that's yeah. going more off into a modding tangent than uh, actually yeah, that, that, a content tangent. That gets so, this, uh, complicated. Yeah. Um, so with that, that's pretty much what's going to be going on with the uh, Academy. The talks will still be uploaded to the Academy YouTube channel for the time being. Um, there is kind of talk of maybe splitting them at some point. Not 100% sure if that's going to actually happen. Because I think really? it's, fine, it's fine where it's at right now. Speaking of talk... Well, we should um, probably metagame a bit and have people ask about what they want about the talk, too. Well, yeah, I mean, oh, people definitely. Are free to, ooh, yeah. yeah, people are free to talk to me about that. Like, if you want someone on the talk, just let me know. Yeah, and we try, we do try. I mean, it's not like we just go, oh, okay. Because I know a lot of people are wanting people like Azer, and there's <laughs> been, like, people, like, oh, begging God. for Ryuti. You get Azer on, he's just going to start talking shit about me. <laughs> you know, and... <laughs> Like, I mean, I'm more than welcome to do that, but it's a two-way street. They've got to want to do it, too. Like, we can't just, like, be like, you get here, you talk, you make us happy. It wouldn't be as fun if the person feels forced to yeah. do it. Also, so, before, before we move on, I would like to ask if you would think it'd be better for, like, considering how we were talking about mapping, would it be better to do, like, a group discussion with mapping or individual mappers well, for it? Well, individually, mm. like, if it's going to be an Academy episode set up, more what I'd like to do is I'd probably introduce said mapper, and it would really just be them taking the floor. Because I, I kind of want more people to be involved with the Academy anyways at this point. Like, because 33 episodes in, and I think we've only had three guests, you, Shiro, and Lollyflam, and that's it. Yeah, that that's, sounds about right. It's really uh, hard for to. Uh, it's really hard to get stuff like that going on. Um, in terms of that, uh, we do have a kind of little bit of an issue here. We do need to figure out how to up the room cap because it looks like we actually have more people trying to get in, and they can't. So I'm going to fix I that. I know how bit. to edit stuff. Okay. Just someone please. Okay, there we go. Okay. No, they're just go. being bad. Hey. All, All right. right. Anyways, so aside from that, um, that's pretty much what's going to go on with the Academy. Um, definitely, if you guys have suggestions for either the Academy or the talk, you could leave a PM in my inbox, Deadbeat's inbox, uh, Charles even. It might not get to him <laughs> right away, but... Or, I don't know, you can ask yeah, me but, too. Like, you, you'd, you'd have way better luck. You'd have way better luck sending it to Deadbeat or Zchot, I think. Those two are yeah. the ones who are most yeah. plugged into or this. Or just post it in the thread. I get notifications every time someone posts, so yep. I pretty much check everything there anyway. Shameless plug. Shameless anyway. plug. The past 20 minutes have been used shameless plugging. Everybody knows it oh. by now. Anyway. Yeah, buddy. So, we should probably continue. move on to something else. Yeah. It's time to move on. Yeah, yes. we actually mm. mentioned this year, but um, the art contest. We recently finished the fourth. I mm -hmm. think it's the fourth contest? I believe yes. the fourth is still under its voting stage. Yeah, the yeah, voting fourth is already under up. voting it's... right now. Mm -hmm. There's some pretty interesting uh, contest. Which contest? Oh. The Halloween, no, it's the the Halloween, Halloween theme contest. Yeah, oh, the, Halloween. Just the, Halloween. the voting's already up. Yeah. Some yeah. of the entries look really good. I have to say. Oh, they're super good. Mm -hmm. There's actually quite a few more entries that I've decided to vote on this time than previous than in previous ones. But of course, you've always got your piece that like your couple that people just upload to be silly or to kind of troll around <laughs> I, and mess I around. Forgot. I think I, I, I want to say, yeah, I want to say the someone, idea one, right, but yeah. I don't think that would be very uh, productive. There's a particularly yeah. funny one. 
I was There's a Zetro lot of really good pieces though that are in this his, one. Um, you know, Zetro started crying because one of his usually beat the girl. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Oh no. That was a really good yeah. one though, but Zetro was yeah, not happy really, at all. It's really good, but I, I don't see how people are confusing Yuzu with a female. Yuzu is a girl, apply, apply, implying that Zetrot is also a girl. Oh man. Anyways, um, yeah, so the art contests are ongoing. After that one, there'll almost definitely be a next one. So if you have an artist knack or that's something you like to take part in, do know that uh, we, uh, there's no really restrictions. You could upload anything. I mean, just the better it is, the better chance you have to um, uh, win, you know. But it's just don't don't draw you as a girl. Yeah, I think <laughs> so. Yeah, Zetro isn't comfortable with the whole concept behind sixty three. Yeah. Anyway, I... um, but for real though, the uh, for the joke submissions, it's very safe to say that even if they did gather a bunch of votes, they're not going to win. So while it might be funny for a moment, they're not going to win. So no. it's kind of a waste of time. You could yeah. you 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 could conjure up a whole skeleton army and it probably still wouldn't win. I don't know. I like skeletons. Okay. Mm. It depends anyway. on how scary skeletons are. If it's like a serious attempt, then yeah. But yeah, I mean, how serious are the skeletons? I don't know how serious you want to be. All right. Um. Also, with other contests that are still ongoing, we are reaching our third and. Um, we're reaching our fourth stage in Thank the you. idol competition. Um, that competition is in the judging phase of stage three right now, which if people are paying attention to it, that is the rock stage. Um, all these songs at the end um, of the competition, each one of the top, I think I'm going to put out each one of the top five for each one. We're going to release the songs for each stage. That oh. way uh, people can listen to them. Um, and for the number one, I have decided, I have taken this upon myself, it wasn't actually listed as a reward, but I figure it's cool enough because we have it happen all the time. The number one win will, I'll map a song to whatever they sing, so. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I'm oh, looking man. forward to this. I swear to God, if Can you I have something with... Can I make a difficulty? If Are you, you actually something... going to finish this map? Hold on, yes, hold on. I'm actually gonna finish Cause... this map. I'm gonna say this right now because it's gonna happen. Z truck, can I make a guess difficulty? Kitoko, I'm tough. Please, I need to tell Z truck this because he's gonna come to me. Z truck, if it's hard to time, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, I, I won't be too happy about that either. Because <laughs> he's just gonna go, hey Charles, could you time no. this? <laughs> yeah, so that will be oh, that. Man. That's going to be wrapping up around um the end well around halfway through november that should be reaching its finish uh in terms oh, of if there will be another turn uh if there will be another idol within the next year is still up in the air uh this one was actually pretty well received so you should make it a yearly thing definitely thinking about uh running these things more often uh so a lot of, it was a lot of some, uh, mm. yeah that was way more interesting like, than i thought it would be yeah, after the announcement, the um, submissions, the people that wanted to enter just skyrocketed. Mm hmm Like, you went from, like, what, 5 to 50 overnight? Yep, and then it went from 50 to, like, 400, and I had to write a cutoff, because it was just, like, holy crap. That was Wasn't way too it, many. Weren't there, like, 100 people registered and only 50 actually inputted files? No, there was 150 registered and only 75 actually input in files. Oh, okay. It was kind of a down... Like, if I would have known that, I wouldn't have cut it off as much as I did. But, you know, I assumed that if they signed up, they were seriously going to take part. Which... I'm just glad... It seems, like, it seems like a lot of the really good ones are there, though. So, like, I mean, yeah. if, you, if you were to listen to all of the ones in Stage 3, like, right now, it's, like, it's hard to cr criticize a lot of them because they're just really good. Yeah, and that's great. So, I mean, that's what I was wanting to see. I didn't think it would be on this level. I mean, some of the people have been really oh good. Oh my gosh! I don't want to like throw out names because well, they get a I third wanna... try at this. It's obviously going to be really. If good. they've got if they've gotten to the third stage, you can say their names. Come on. <laughs> I mean, let's be yeah. real here. Well, I mean, uh, well, Shadow Cool. Uh, I mean, Cool Shadow. Uh, cool Shadow FMG. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
he he did pretty well, and uh, Miss Tatiana and uh, Miss Tatiana is like a like a yeah. favorite of a lot of the people in like the thread. Yeah, I mean it, it's really good. I'm I was really surprised on how decent it's been, but it's a lot of fun. That that you want to collab with some of them? <laughs> yes, I do. I do want to collab with a couple of them. Yes, um, oh, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, so we have that set up for. The 5th of November will be the results coming in for stage yeah. 3, and then stage 4 will be beginning shortly after. Kitoko and I have to get our uh, votes in by then, so, mm -hmm. I mean, we know our, we yes, know our deadline. Did. No worries to the people who are waiting for that stuff. Yes. Yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll hurry up, no worries. <laughs> and speaking All right. of... And Charles, don't be tardy like round one. No, <laughs> I enjoy being the Simon of the group. And, Can and... you light up? <laughs> Speaking of which, though, and stuff that's getting close to wrapping up, uh, the judging for the monthly beat con beatmap contest number seven is actually Ooh. going to be ending here soon. I think we have what? till the fifth. No, we day. just started. The, no, the judging for it is November fifteenth. The deadline, if I'm not mistaken. Of the seventh one. Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I don't know if two weeks is soon in my language of time, but all right. Yeah. Fair um, enough. And uh, that. That contest is the contest that actually has all game modes, so that means standard, Tycho, Catch the Beat, and Mania. All two Catch the Beat submissions. Yeah, <laughs> Catch the Beat. Yeah. Well, we'll see I how mean, that goes. Well, hopefully there's a little... Oh, wait. It's already judging. Yeah, there's no... There is no... Yeah, no, so there's... Yeah, so CTB, hopefully the uh, one of the submissions is, like, super good. Yeah. I, yeah I'll be definitely sure. looking over the CTB submissions, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and, um... So that will be setting up, and then the last big thing we've got before we open this up to uh, other people is that the OWC is going to be starting up soon, and actually hype this- Hype train! Yeah, there's a little bit of a hype train going there. Um, and uh, this episode's actually going to let you know about a thing that you can catch. Tomorrow at 14 UTC, the live drawings for uh, the stage- for the first stage in the rosters will be started tomorrow. It's going to be live streamed at the OS Live channel, just like always. And we'll be doing the live drawings for that. So if you want to see that, definitely make sure to tune into the stream tomorrow. That will be going. And then um, I think the next week after that, we'll start a uh, full live coverage of the tournament. So that will be pretty awesome. I. Hi, 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 hi. And um, as always, um, with the countries that everybody's hyped for, walking into it, just going off who won last year, definitely Korea is going to be a big contender. And I'm hoping that the United States can get third place or at least fourth. This sounds a lot like the Mania contest. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, <laughs> like I'm, Korea is Korea is gonna be strong, but I hope the U.S. can. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be I'll be uh, live commentating for all of those as many as I can get to. I'm sure so, you'll be spent by the end of the weekend. Oh yeah, I, I I probably won't even be able to talk by the end of the weekend. But oh man, yeah. Anyway, it, it, it's gonna be pretty good. Um, and I have like in terms of winning predictions, like. We can all I, sit here I all day. I can't call it right now. There's no and way. There's no way to actually call it because, like, we don't even as, know the teams. Yeah, as everybody knows, there's always, and not only that, disconnect stuff like that. It's all unknown knowns. Like, you know that it's a possibility that it can happen, but you can't really call it because the best there's thing, no way to call it. The best thing we can say right now is stay tuned. Exactly. I mean, once and we possibly. check the form. Check, oh, yeah. check the forum and the wiki too. They have a lot of information, and mm -hmm. they're constantly updated. Yeah, I was just looking at the wiki, and I'm surprised that like I feel like the turnout for this year's World Cup is bigger than like uh, the last one was. I swear at the moment there's It'll two teams get busy. Really? I swear there's only thirty teams up on the roster at the moment. But um, uh, yes, there will Either be a tent, and I know I'm gonna be in that tent, and hopefully Mr. Color is in that tent with me. Because he has, he has Turn made, my tent on, please. <laughs> he's actually made an announcement that he's going to be commentating again. And I know some of the people that uh, stick up with Oast Lives, I'm, uh, you know, 
going on. So they're really excited about Mr. Color being back again this year. So hype. And I'll stick yeah. around, help take care the of the color Twitch hype chat. is pretty real. The color hype. The color hype is really the, real. We the need, hype okay, is commentator. Well, well, what we need to do is we need to make a Mr. Color <laughs> Twitch emote. Oh man, does I don't even know if Oslive has emotes. There no. needs to be emotes. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty Probably sure. Not. I'm pretty sure Zayas has like a set to destroy on any emote that comes out of anywhere. Oh. Ryan. Yeah. With well, so emotes. emotes. I know the the more the more common emotes from Twitch culture aren't allowed in the chat room. Yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah, is isn't it? Wait, not, never mind. All the ones that you would probably use to Kappa. indicate. Yep, that one's good. Yeah. Rest in yeah. peace. The great face of Kyrie. Anyway, what your, team, what, what your team loses, you always need you always need to use PJ Salt though. Okay, that's probably when the other way. Loses, you, you need to have PJ Salt. You do need to have that. Anyway, so I think at this point we've covered all of the uh, current events. I don't believe there are any more other than, like, maybe, mm -hmm. hopefully, NBC6 will be wrapping up soon. And we can Seven see all the results. Eight. No, NBC6 is has been, like, in judging oh. for, like, years. I'm really psyched like for the O's Idols entries this time, too. Yeah. Also, all right. um, also, I just have to put this out here. Like, Attentional, because everybody knows it's getting close to the end of the year, and the next year there's going to be a whole bunch of really awesome changes. So just get excited about that. I'm not telling you oh. what they are. You could just think about it. Hype but trade! Call it, call Speaking it of, the New Year's Revolution. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a top 2014 voting probably soon. Yes. Oh, yeah, that, that, that usually, wait, it started already? There's a one, the, okay, there's one in the CTB thread. Uh, I've seen a lot of top 10s done. going on about 2014. And it is... Yeah, and there's another one going on at the moment for the top 20 Korean players of 2014 in the standard game mode. Oh, oh I when's there? What, what, when's there going to be the, the top one? standard? Yeah, the mapping, mapping one. I don't know. I think oh. that usually starts at the beginning of December. Yeah, it'll oh. start at the beginning oh, yeah. of December. For All the right. Official best... mid. Midway no, through December. No, it's for the official best of uh, 2014. Yeah, it'll be... about mid-December. No, it'll. Mm, maybe. No, no, he's right. He's right. It starts the fifteenth and doesn't end until the fifteenth of January, because oh, yeah, last it year takes started, this year. Yeah, the twenty fourteen yeah. one started late though, which was a bit of a bugger. Yeah, it, it's it takes into consideration that there's going to be maps. It might not even start. The voting might not even start till January, which would make more sense because there's going to be a lot of Christmas maps. You know, everybody always sets oh, up Christmas. Yeah. I mean, yo, I mean, those Christmas maps can really make or break your uh, place on the, on the chart. Well, yeah. not, not, not so much as make or break, but definitely, like, there's some Christmas maps that aren't just, like, you know, novelty. You play them once, you get out, you get out. Some people put a lot of work into them. Oh, there's um, some I still play from, like, 2010, so. Yeah. In, in terms of that, though, we'll go ahead and move on to open this up for people. But, yeah, just remember, with the new year comes a great new year, all kinds of cool changes. And probably at some point, I can't really say guaranteed, but some point next year, Toho's will probably, you know, exist. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Probably not with that name, though. No, definitely yeah. not with that name. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, it might be, it'll actually be pretty cool, you know, considering the uh, scope of the game. Oh, yeah. Be worth considering. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one, though. It's, yeah. yeah. I, it's been a, I, a while now, so... <laughs> You might, you might pass it's out. It's been by the time. around for a while, and already from posting my game mode, which I won't talk about here right now. Okay. What are you working anyway. on? Something? Cough, cough, horse jump. Cough, cough, cough. Cough, cough, okay. deadbeat spoilers. Cough, cough. Anyway. Continuing on. <laughs> we should probably. The fact that, uh. That Peppy also t mentioned that he's not planning on new game modes for a long time. Yeah. So I think the get that, that we have consideration. Now really stable. He, he's working a whole lot on getting everything fixed and getting the website all updated. Oh. Which... Speaking of the website, we I was about to mention this. Speaking of the website, yeah. um, if you guys haven't been checking out Flight's blog, you should definitely be doing that. He actually uploaded something uh, recently, about a day ago, for mm -hmm. the a rough design for the new in-game chat. All right, just so uh, so that was clear, it was kind of hard to hear. I believe Deadbeat said flight. Yes. Oh, I don't F know why I keep doing that. F L Y T E. So oh, definitely God, check I... him out. Yeah. Uh, don't and, worry about your mic, Deadbeat. We're, and, we're and, fine. And the blog <laughs> is called Osnet. 
No, it's Nick. Oh. Nick, stop PBY. Oh, next up, PBY. Oh. Okay. This is the next us. Anyway, um, we did we cover the uh, new additions to the game client? I don't believe we did. Additions? Yeah, like the client updated fairly recently with tons of changes. Yes, uh, the new login screen and everything like that has been um, uh, set up. The back buttons, there's lots of changes. And that there's whole... so many new sounds. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, sounds. I've been on the um, cutting edge, yeah, so I've had that for yeah. a while now. Yeah, I, I was about to say that too. Like, for people that have been working with the new stuff and helping with updates and stuff, this stuff has kind of been here with us for a while. So if some of us don't seem as enthralled or as hyped about it, th there's a reason for that. It um, is... It is worth noting that it's, it seems to be clear that the current changes to the client are not necessarily final, as there are a lot of features that are being put in and taken out the very next day. Like um, yes. opening the chat box, it used to, when it reached the top, it'd like shake a little bit, but that got removed, it seems. Yeah. So, and... like, everything is still up to mm -hmm. modification. And not yep. to mention, uh, as you notice, there is a welcome and goodbye message, and hopefully what that will in bring eventually is, I know that it was brought up, but we do plan to get uh, all the characters that are in the game, the mascots, Pippi, user, and future iterations that we won't go in on, we do want to get those voiced at some point, so <laughs> definitely if you guys have really good voice talent or you want to be... You want to be the face of Yuzu, or you want to be the sound of Pippi. Definitely um, look out for threads that are looking for voice talent. I want they to be the sound up. of. I want to be the sound of Yuzu. I oh, want to uh, be the very best. One more thing, though, uh, for those who like customization, most of these sounds are uh, skinnable, actually. So you can replace the uh, welcome and goodbye sounds to be whatever you want, as well as most of the menu ones. So mm -hmm. it's always fun to experiment with that too. So that means you could throw out your own sounds and you could listen oh, to someone for else only. Yeah. being used, or you can listen to someone else being Pippi, for example. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can I, find I a definitely... lot of the um, new skinning. Yeah, a lot of people have already posted the, um, the new skin files in the skinning support thread, I think. Or at least yeah. in one of the threads. The main two you'll probably want to focus on are welcome.wave and see.wave. Yeah. Those are the two that um, will play the magical little welcoming and goodbye message so yeah i'll make sure to record a welcome and goodbye for all uh, those people i that think want everybody me. in here should make one i'll be like wah, 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 welcome wah, wah. welcome to Oath. welcome oh, to Oath. i think i'll pass all right <laughs> yeah fine <laughs> all right i'm gonna be all that right. killjoy be sure to right. if you aren't using the package build it is actually available to non-supporters in case you hadn't noticed However, the multiplayer mm -hmm. is limited still, so if you do want to test out the new stuff, you can definitely go do that now, and I highly recommend it. Alright. Okay, so nice. now let's go ahead and open this up to everybody. I guarantee you that uh, during this long talk that I didn't think was going to be this long, uh, there's some <laughs> questions that have been generated. So, I think we're at the 40 minutes now. <laughs> yeah, so Excellent. if anybody has any kind of questions, uh, feel free to ask them. Um, in terms of what you can actually question about, anything that we've brought up today, uh, if you have a personal question to one of the people, that's fine as long as it's respectable and within decent, you know, limitations. Um, try to avoid sensitive subject matter if possible, and just uh, raise your digital hand or just say, uh, I have a question, and we'll go ahead and get you out there. Oh, and don't be a douche. And the topic, yeah, d Ow, definitely don't be a douche. Jeez. But um, uh, the topic is upcoming events and uh, the academy and talk discussions. So, Basically, anything upcoming, any new changes, anything of that sort. All right, so let's Ooh, see. That's actually like to... not too sensitive at all. Uh, Sonar asks, um, what are they going to try to do to prevent lag and drop games during the OWC? Okay. Oh. I, oh, I recall that after uh, after there's been complaints <sighs> about during the Mania stream. Mm -hmm. That was bad. And let me explain that a little bit. Um, it's not going to be nearly as bad in terms of drops or disconnects in the standard game because the way Mania works, at, uh, the way Mania works at the moment, um, the spectating client for it kind of was a little bit buggy. 
and it also has to play every hit sound. Um, yeah, it's gotten a big update since then, yes. Yeah, so like, if we were to run it now, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. But beforehand, it would have to play all the hit sounds, and if they out-sync, you'd get a drop. So, that was something that There's also happened. something... Go ahead. There's also something you need to note, is that when a player happens to drop for a bit, the stream will stop to, to let that player catch up, because... It's, it's a spectating client that's meant to uh, show all the players at the same time. So if one player is lagging, the stream's going to hold back a bit. Yeah. And things like this uh, are slowly being worked on. And um, it definitely, each year it improved. And ultimately, the main goal is to not have any drops, nothing of the sort. But other, other than that, I mean, we should be good in terms of that. So, thank you for that question. I mean, we will work on it. It's constantly evolving. But for what we do to prevent it is we just try to make sure that, like, the, the stream box that's running it can run it properly and the connections are all good. We can't really do much in terms of the other players' connections. That's kind of on their side. Okay. And all right, I'll handle that question. Okay. Uh, Ascension asks uh, regarding Halloween themed content in general. He's worried about spooky, scary skeletons and wondering if there's any particular problems they might bring other than sending shivers down your spine or, you know, ripping your guts out. Now, the thing is with Halloween is that you always have to be worried about skeletons popping out at any moment in time. But hopefully, if you keep yourself safe for Halloween, there won't be any problems with the supernatural. I mean, unless you start seeing people riding backwards, you should be fine. Another thing you have to worry about is that this year is the year of the Skeleton War, so... <laughs> so, so you gotta be careful of that, too. Wait, what? Yeah. Alright, thank you for the uh, public, service public service announcement uh, on Skeleton's Ascension. Right. Actually, it would be kind of interesting to see more Skeletons just in O.S. in general. Uh, there have been a couple of Skeleton-themed content, like I believe the Green Green Dance has the Skeleton background? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think we I think we broke Kitoka Fox. Yeah, Kitoka Fox is definitely broken. He All has right. been taken by the skeletons. So, um, do we have any other questions? Um, you know, you can definitely speak these. You don't have to type them, everybody. Yeah, absolutely. If you have a microphone, feel free to uh, ask for an okay, unmute here's and one. to voice um, yourself. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take this one. About the Oath Talk, is it coming more diverse? Like, try to rotate people, uh, uh, try to rotate uh, people interviewed and by modes or something. Like, I think also we're going to get people from different modes. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so like, the topics yes. are shuffling around different people from different modes and stuff, instead of just like, pro players and uh, people on the team. That, that that could definitely be true. Sure. Um, Sounds well, like if you guys look at the main page for the uh, OS talk and all the stuff that's brought up, there are a couple people that, uh, you know, sit around Mania that we're going to be talking to soon. Um, there's more in Standard, obviously, if it's one of the more popular modes. I'd like to get some people on Catch the Beat and Tycho as well. I think it'd be fair enough to uh, mention a couple of the people who are potentially lined up. No, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, go um, for it. Uh, go ahead and... So go there are requested it. ones, but the two who seem to have accepted that are in plan with no set date are Hayabusa, which is a Mania player, and Miu. Who does community graphics? I believe those are mm -hmm. the two confirmed right now. Yep. And I don't remember. Did the Blue Dragon one happen yet? It did happen, yes, but uh, I go. I can go ahead and kind of bring up a little bit on that. Um, it's kind of in the state of limbo at this moment due to the fact that uh, Blue Dragon had a very noticeable audio issue with his microphone. While it mm. didn't make the entire interview unaudible. I don't think it's a high enough quality to allow it to be posted up on the YouTube channel. It sounds like we could give it another go. Maybe yeah. we should buy Blue Dragon a microphone. And it could be something possible. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, uh, too bad shipping to Brazil is super expensive. One of the unconfirmed okay, that ones true. that I can confirm for us right now is that Metal Mario 201, one of the older OCs, oh. I have oh. gotten him to say it's I... totally fine. I, I want to get in that. on that. I'm keen. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up something from like five years ago, and he's not even gonna remember. Is he still around? Excellent. No. Yes, he is still around. I wouldn't really call him because I've he's seen him really pop in anything. like every once in a while. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna say like so about that minus one KD. Yeah. From early uh, run. But I'm um, uh. No, he's still around. It's just that his O's time is almost completely deteriorated. I I talk to him on a regular basis still, <laughs> Nintendo Skype group. But uh, I do I do get a hold of him quite easily. So that's one of the things that's coming up. Uh, so thank you so much for that question. And with that, we'll move on to another question. If anybody has one of those, uh, feel free to. Um, it was that you want. Uh, do you know if there's any possibility of an update or default skin or the usage of a different skin for the OWC? Okay. Um, for that, um, with the updated default skin, um, in terms, I think it's going to actually be the one that we currently use now. So it's the one with the reworked 300s and stuff. If anybody even remembers the original default skin at this point. I use that one right now. Uh, Kotoko, yeah. you are still broken. Um... Now, the usage for it is, like, each player individually can use their own skin during OWC. It's just the one that is displayed is the default. Basically, the default's uh, a lot better than what it used to be. So a lot less hey, alright, now I'll fight you on that, Deadbeat. Alright, go for it. <laughs> right? I don't know, like, um, I think the new default is really cool in a lot of its design, like the uh, way that follow points are going, but if I were to think, I would like the original for its color scheme on the hit bursts, because mm -hmm. the warm colors mean you did good, and the cool colors mean you did bad. But in this new version, blue is perfect and green is not so perfect, so they're kind of both cool colors. But that's just me being uh, picky. Yeah. I understand what you're talking about with the colors. I don't like that it doesn't pop as much, but with most people just deleting their um, uh, 300s to begin with, I can understand why <laughs> it was downsized to a smaller 300. You know, and ultimately, yeah, absolutely, ultimately, the, like people could say, "Oh, they just did that. And now it's not that good." It wouldn't have been changed like that if people wouldn't have, like. Obviously, I mean, it was an issue because people were deleting the 300s. Absolutely, I delete a... my 300s. There's a there's a big movement for uh, just people just moving all of these super super transparent skins into their main files and then so it basically turned into well why don't why doesn't the main skin just have that incorporated into it? Yeah. I personally still use the old template. I believe it's template V3 where the hippers are big orange star mm -hmm. things. I love those. I think oh, they yeah, really the help. Star things. They really help you get better at readability even though it makes it harder to read. The irony? Yeah, it's like it's like putting weights on your shoulders. Um, ooh, actually, Sonar, to uh, you said the new default skin is worse for Catch the Beat. I would like to um, uh, bring it up to you that the hitboxes have not changed in the slightest. Everything sure. is still 100% the same way. It just yeah, looks they, we're not gonna change that. Yeah, that we would that'd that would be game. We just have a new catcher graphic. That's all. Yep. Uh, the hitbox has not been adjusted. Now, when the animation files come in for him, um, I'm not sure if the hitbox will need to be adjusted, but mm. that's later on down the line, because he is going to be fully animated. What's most important is that the plate stays the same as the yes. old plate and the same in every single frame. So, like, Because I, yeah. I know a lot of CTB players use the edges of the plate as their reference point. Yeah, I also this. like the middle the of the hit... fruit and the edge of the plate is the reference point that most of us yeah. do. I will yeah. say, this, if the hitbox does change, you will definitely notice. Yeah, I mean, I it will be abundantly me, clear. I went through so much testing on that before it was even allowed to be pushed out. So he is I definitely a... like same hitboxes. And um, I'd like to also say before Charles goes on. Um, nah, I was going to tangent. Uh, well, for the next questions, remember, guys, you can use your microphones. And if you want to ask another question, it is fine. Uh, the cutoff is going to be here in about the next 10 minutes, so feel free to ask any more questions. Yeah, ask like. lots of questions before we're done. So I have a question for all of you. <laughs> oh, okay. this should be good. Oh, what, should our, what should our group cosplay be? Oh, no. Group cosplay? Oh, dude. Ooh, hold on, I got this one. I all really right. don't dress oh, up. I want to be you, sir. No, I'm Yuzu. Uh, Kiyako's Pippi. I already have no, the costume. No, I'm Yuzu. 
No, Charles. Charles. I call is it. Gonna, I'm Charles using. is gonna cosplay as Locked Have. And oh Debbie's god. It's gonna be Peppy. <laughs> We got Who's this. Kitoko gonna be then? Kitoko, who do you, you still gotta find somebody? He could be the drum. Yes, yeah, we'll dress him up the, in a big oh, drum. He, he could be a drum. drum. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not <laughs> gonna do this. Dum, 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 dum. Dead beats. No. So every time you like go tap. That's the sound it's gonna make when you walk. So you're telling me I'm gonna have to cosplay as a a guy with a bunch of papers in hand that say tournament management. Yep. Yeah, oh, pretty man. much. Where do I sign up? That's fun. <laughs> you already oh, signed no, up. You, you don't have you already signed up. You're the sign up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Can I change my outfit to dead can I change my outfit to deadbeat? No, deadbeat, no. you just you're just a dead guy on the ground. <laughs> I can live with that. Alright. <laughs> can... I'm dead now. Excellent. Bye, guys. All right. Okay. Deadbeat so... is officially I think we're... dead now. Alright. Uh, Winroar can... has questions. Alright, someone give him voice. Yes. Okay, hi. Hello. 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 Okay, so I my question was actually about the cos like cosplaying, but you know, it was kinda answered. So but uh Kyanko. Yes, Winrar. Uh if you were to cosplay as someone else and not Pippi, who would you cosplay as? Because You've been asking that question, and I actually wanted to know about. Oh, you, that is. Never there's actually, the answer. if if I'm, oh, am I allowed to answer this in a completely serious way? Yeah. I don't see why not. Sure, uh, go for it. I actually do have quite a few cosplays planned that I wanted to do. I want to revamp my Aya Shamemaru cosplay. She's a character from Toho, and. I also have really wanted to finish my Junko Enoshima <coughs> cosplay. She's a character from Danganronpa. And then also I have planned to do Gala Vinyl Scratch. Uh, obviously Pony. And then I've also that I'm either going to do uh, that I might be doing Douse from I think he's from Tales of Fantasia. I think he's from Fantasia. And then Estelle from Tales of Vesperia. Those are There's the so oh, those tales. are the ones I have planned to do right now there's a lot of others but those ones are currently priority but that can change it at, at any time i, I I'll, I'll randomly change to like okay not doing this one anymore gonna do somebody else so it's kind of tentative but that's who's on the plate right now all right yeah it seems like is really popular also, right I now also i actually have what is? one more question all right okay. yeah sure Okay, it's just to anyone who wants to answer. Uh, what's your opinion on the new intro of Osu? Like, how it doesn't let you play immediately, it's just a little pause. I'll take it. Alright, I'll take that. Uh, I do I like... wish I could map that song. <laughs> there actually I... is a map of it, I thought. Seriously? Yeah, anyway, somebody mapped um, it. Yes. For the intro, uh, I do like the concept behind it, because it's like you're starting out. A lot of people will start up OS once for the entire day and then just start playing for the rest. So it's really nice to like wake up and just see this thing. And I feel like that's Welcome the original to intention. Us. And then ooh, and then just start playing for hours, right? And I believe that's the original intention to make you kind of feel like at home. I appreciate that you can actually turn off the auto-loaded music. Although I wish there was an option to immediately skip to the open title screen if you're somebody who restarts the game over and over, like if you're mapping and things keep crashing. Yeah, me too. That's I mean, because I mean, like the game, it's like a rhythm game. You're supposed to go quick, and usually <laughs> people would just open and immediately go into play. But yeah, they hit the post as soon as it Whoa, loads. Whoa, there, the friend! You pay, might need to slow twice. down. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Why are you in a just... rush? <laughs> slow down. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I'd be all for uh, quicker as an option, but I do love the implementation as it is now. Cool, really that's like actually all a good the point. plans that are upcoming. Yes. Okay. All right then. Thank you so much for those questions, Winrar. Appreciate it. Hey. All right. Let's ask and... someone else before we run out of time. Yeah, we have um, uh, King Kevin Thirty lined up. All right, let's give King Kevin voice. Yo. So hi guys. Um. Hello. My question was uh, about the CAT, and this is probably more like a thing uh, for locked up or whatever. But like, um, I'm locked uh, up. I'm cosplaying. Oh my god, locked up! Hi, how's it going, man? <laughs> no, like, um... is it just me? Are we always going to ask about the cosplay? It's not actually about. What we're <laughs> well, doing. no, it's a joke. Is locked up night anyway? 
No, like, Please um, continue, King Kevin, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know like, what like my, question, uh, my question was, like, the the whole CAT team is uh, just set up as, like, um, people with, uh, well, <laughs> some some kind of, uh, of good knowledge about the mods and whatever. And I think, like, uh, the involvement in those uh, categories are kind of weird or whatever. So what my question would be uh, is like if there's any possibility of adding some kind of community involvement so that people can give their opinions about uh, the monthly charts and stuff. Huh. Um, ooh, ooh, I have a I... kind of a thing ooh, real quick, Zchart. This is something. Oh, okay, fine. Zchart sent it to a monkey. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, ooh. So y your question with that entitles like you're wanting a community input towards the chart yeah because like i, I, I have to feel going. like <laughs> i have a feeling uh, like there's uh, no. yeah th that there isn't really a kind of teamwork uh, but just a, a team that uh, used their yeah well uh <laughs> their yeah, I, I don't own mean. opinions of water yeah, yeah. kind of just feels like it's just a group that like kind of gets together like i like this i like that and it's not as big as a thing now, something that's always been brought up, and I don't know if it's actually going to happen, but I'd like to see it happen at some point, is that there'd be a community-driven chart where it's just like, you'd still have your, you know, official chart set out by the team, but then you'd have this side chart. And, like, there's been charts that have kind of tested this a little bit. Like, you'd have two charts running at once, and one would be for a specific mod, and the other one w wouldn't be. And yeah, what? I think I I oh, sorry. There, there are charts that are strictly that ones that were chosen by the community. The top of the year charts are of the top placements in the voting, yeah. so those are actually like walking examples. So but I believe, it's a community choice sort of board. Yeah, but I, I believe the original problem with the uh, community choice for the charts was the issue of popular songs dwarfing, yeah. like um, the uh, whole. There's a new popular show going on, and this opening is being played a million times a day, and that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, or, or the same thing with like uh, famous mappers, and then they're like, oh yeah, I know this guy, this, ma this map is great, and it is, it is totally... <laughs> I know this mapper, the map oh, is yeah. eh, but like this mapper, oh man. Yeah, that's the. 10 out of 10, that, 10 it's that okay. That was the problem. <laughs> 10 out of 10, it's okay. Ex excellent. This is why yeah. I don't vote anymore. Yeah. Oh, Lockdown's yeah, gonna kill you, Deadbeat. Yep. No, I, mean, I don't vote at all on anything. Even just individual map rates don't vote. Oh, okay. I thought you meant the charts. <laughs> no, I, just, I feel like the ratings on maps are just... I don't like them. I don't even think uh, you can rate on maps anymore, can you? Everyone kept rating what? up Big Black, I think, on that last chart. It used to be 7 and now it's 9. Like, can you... Big Black? Wait, you can still see... You can still see rating points? I can't what? see them no more. No, you can't see them in-game. You go on the website. Oh, you have to go on the website now? I'm pretty sure, oh. yeah. But, uh, no, I, I I always stand by... You can still rate the song, and it'll show you the next new score. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, well, thank you so much for the uh, question there, King Kevin. No problem. Yeah, that's a really, actually, really, really relevant question. Dang. Alright. <laughs> Do we have anything else? Uh, right now, I, I, I don't think so. Okay, All right. well... Alright, thanks a lot, dude. Alright, we see... We might have one from Ongaku here. Yo. Awesome. <laughs> We're gonna have another hour episode. Let's go. Should we end uh, it after this one? Do you think? Yeah, we'll yeah, go ahead. Good. And, we'll go ahead and drop it after that one. If you have a question, feel. Do you want talk power, or would you like to just type it? Oh, it looks uh, like your microphone is not forward. working. There what is shame. no sound. Darn. You can type it if you want. Was that Kotoko? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just making sure. No, the form about good. the team. We can get to the question. You have a question about the us? I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, the uh, team yeah. Down there, yeah. Basically, it's a sort of a response to that very hugely starred clan star. Stars so, it's full oh, of stars. Uh, so full of stars, stars that makes your computer yeah, lag. Yeah, Deadbeat. Deadbeat's yeah. close to that. Beat your question on my specialty here. Okay, so uh, a lot of people have been aware that for about four years now, there's been a request for clans with an os. And for a while, Pippi's kind of acknowledged that he will do something with this. And I think he said that there will be something about OS teams with the new website, which is actually coming up. 
Yep. League of Oaths. We Oz. don't know when this site is coming, when the new site will be finished. But apparently that will include boss teams. I would also like to ask people to stop starring that thread as it is probably over You're wasting 8, your stars. stars. Oh, I mean, man. oh man. Oh man. I have like 50 stars, stars and I've Start never used any it. of them. <laughs> I have 50 stars and I've never used any of them. I used my stars once and then I wasn't allowed to star anymore, but I think I got the privilege back. Yeah, it took me a while. Charles, to... what did you do now? Nothing, that was years ago. Okay, anyway. Apparently someone's have 9,000, I need to check this. Right. Oh boy. Oh, wait, anyway. I believe we have a picture. Okay, uh, 8,542. Oh no, 8,500, oh my gosh. Alright. So yes, please, please, it's... Spend your stuff or something I don't know, like Somebody's, somebody is going to want to push it over 9,000, so I've we might see that. I've got 300 stars, I guess I could go drop them on there. Nah. Oh, I have 50 Please, something. Um, Please, uh, Austin oh, they is stack uh, confirmed now? to happen, and they will most likely happen when we get this new website, which we don't know when it's going to arrive. 2015, sometime. Yeah. How do you, that... how do you guys have, like, more than, like, 10? Um, how does that I've... work? Buy people supporter. Way if you buy yep. people supporter or buy yourself supporter. I did not know that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So for people who don't know how to get stars, you get you don't get a star each month. You get your you get a lump group of stars when you get your supporter tag, and you get two for each month you pay for. It's not something that gets handed out to you on a monthly basis. No. Interesting. There is so a yeah. lot of confusion about this, and I can't kind of understand. But you get them all when you pay. Yeah, and don't you get all the ones that you paid for back once something's been implemented? What? Or was that something else? I don't, I don't think so. It's probably something else. Anyways, yeah, I want to thank everybody maybe. coming out here for this uh, short notice uh, talk. Uh, we did cover a lot of stuff. And we got a lot of good stuff out. Um, this will be the first time we've actually had one put out. Um, to same day so this ought to be interesting you guys should be able to see this very quick and if you have any comments or ideas for oath talk or the academy feel free to drop a message at my inbox i'd be more than happy to go over it with you and, and we all listen to everything yes we definitely do listen and remember guys rhythm's only a click away and we'll see y'all real soon bye and don't forget ah! ry rhythm is only a spook away so spooky Spooky, scary oh. skeletons send shivers down your spine. Good luck in the skeleton war.